Here's what you're going to see in today's video. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm working on a 20 by 20 canvas. It's a pretty nice size one and I've got all my colors right here. I am going to be doing a cloud effect pour on this bigger canvas. I'm going to be using my regular cloud effect mix and um, I haven't done one I don't think this big before so I am looking forward to seeing if I get um, some good results on this bigger canvas I know sometimes when people start out they get a little nervous about uh, using bigger canvases but once you try it just once try it one time and you will love working on bigger canvas um, it's okay to you know start out small I always you know used smaller canvases too but it's really fun to work on a larger canvas you just have more room to work <laughs> all right so as you can see I am pouring my paints down the side that is my preferred way to put my paints in the cup it does definitely help uh, with defined lines uh, more at least um, <laughs> in my experience all right so another Another, another thing you can see um, that I am trying to go in smaller circles there it um, the video is sped up so it looks like I'm going a lot faster than I am but I am NOT and I do have quite a bit of paint um, in this beaker that I'm using so it gets a little tiresome and um, I almost want to quit sometimes but you just got to have a little bit of patience and keep going and eventually you'll be done all right so while you guys are continuing to watch me pour this paint out I wanted to uh, remind you guys if you don't know I have a Facebook group it's called acrylic pouring with friends you can go join you can post your photos your videos and you can get some inspiration you can ask questions there it's just a lot of fun so go check it out all right so right now i am pouring some white around i am using a different white than i normally use this is just artist loft white with um, flow trawl and water only i actually ran out of my um, artist loft white that is mixed with my regular pouring medium so I had to use um, <laughs> the white that I had mixed with Floetrol only so I probably will get some cells um, around the edges there so we'll see and I'm just gonna pop all these air bubbles because you know we got to get rid of those stubborn bubbles there okay so now I am just going to be quiet and let you enjoy the music and I'll be back in a jiff.
Okay guys, so I've got some dried results here for you. Um, the painting dried super dark. I lost all my yellow, um, but I do love the cloud effect and I did get some cells like I thought it would. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave me a comment below and don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel and check out more awesome videos and I'll catch you in my next video.